Every single college football season, there are teams that do not have a home stadium. Not having a home stadium can be really rough. It can reduce ticket sales, decrease fan support, affect recruiting in a given season, and leave your players feeling upset, let alone coaches who might see it as a potential destination. If there's a long project, they might be discouraged. But there are eight such teams, homeless college football teams, if you will, for the 2024 season. So let's touch on those eight teams. We'll start with the Kansas Jayhawks. Now, Kansas is one of the freshest homeless college football teams because they played at David Booth Kansas Memorial Stadium since 1921 all the way up until this very last season where they announced the stadium will be completely rebuilt immediately following the 2023 season, which will improve restrooms, concessions, implement a seating bowl design, improvements to the concourses, and club and lodge seats. So for the 2024 season, the Kansas Jayhawks will instead be playing at Arrowhead Stadium, home of the Kansas City Chiefs, who just won the Super Bowl. So it's not all bad, but Kansas probably won't be able to fill that or pack it like they were able to do with Memorial Stadium. And so for what could be a big 2024, the Jayhawks won't have a home stadium. Next up, we've got another Power 5 school in Northwestern. The Wildcats announcing they would demolish Ryan Field and replace it with a significantly bigger stadium, an $800 million stadium, replacing what was an aging 35,000-seat stadium and replacing it with an absolute monster, as you can see the renderings. Northwestern actually doesn't know where they're going to play football in the 2024 season. They do have some home games scheduled out right now. One of them will be played at Toyota Park and the other one at Wrigley Field. But for Northwestern, they're probably feeling really homeless right now because they're still not sure where the rest of their home games will take place. Next, we have the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, and of all of them, this one makes me the most sad. Hawaii currently plays at T.C. Ching Sports Complex, which is a laughably small arena. It's the size of a high school stadium, and it's probably dwarfed by some in the state of Texas, as it's an under 15,000 seater. They used to play in Aloha Stadium, which was a classic stadium that hosted the Pro Bowl every year, but they stopped playing in the year 2020 due to the stadium becoming a safety hazard and just getting too old overall, with Hawaii not being able to afford the maintenance on it. So there are plans for Hawaii to eventually move to a new Aloha Stadium, but construction hasn't begun yet, and so their estimates continue to be pushed out further and further, with the latest saying that the stadium could could be completed by 2027. What about the Miami Hurricanes? Probably one of the most surprising homeless teams. Some people might not know that they don't have a home stadium. The Hurricanes play at Hard Rock, the home of the Miami Dolphins, and aside from a few years, they've never really been able to pack the stadium in the modern era. The Hurricanes used to play at the Orange Bowl, which was an iconic stadium, but they played their final game there in 2008. It was just getting too old, and they weren't keeping the stadium up to date enough. So one of college football's biggest brands currently doesn't have its own home stadium, which is really detrimental, I think, to the overall culture of a program. There's been renderings that have been released of a potential hypothetical stadium that could be built for the Hurricanes, but currently there's no real momentum to them getting an actual stadium for themselves a college football team that has always been homeless. The South Florida Bulls were first established in 1997 as a football team, and they've never had a home stadium. They've played around at a couple different ones, but right now are settled at Raymond James Stadium, which is the home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And South Florida, as you can imagine, can't really fill that stadium to its full capacity, with maybe a few exceptions like their special 2007 season. Luckily for South Florida, though, they announced in December of 2023 that they're going to be building their first ever home stadium, which is expected to be ready by the 2026 season. The Temple Owls are another college football team with a lot of history, and for a long time they played at Temple Stadium, and it was their home for every game. As you can see, a very old classic looking stadium and that's what happened it got old and they were forced to demolish it the last game was played in temple stadium in 1990 
five by the Temple Owls. And so Temple now plays at Lincoln Financial Field, which is home of the Philadelphia Eagles. So a lot of these teams playing at the professional stadiums near them. Although there have been some proposals for maybe a future Temple football stadium, it seems that none of them have too much traction for now. So for the foreseeable future, Temple will be playing at the Eagles Stadium. The Pittsburgh Panthers are another homeless team, and they have a familiar story. They played in Pitt Stadium from 1925 until 1999, where it was deemed too old and demolished. And now they play at the home of the Pittsburgh Steelers, where it's kind of like joint custody of the stadium. So Pitt seems content for now to be playing there, as there's no real plans for a future college-exclusive Pitt Panthers stadium. The last homeless team is the UNLV Rebels. Now, UNLV played at Sam Boyd Stadium from 1971 to 2019. However, they recently moved to Allegiant Stadium, which is home of the new Las Vegas Raiders. I guess it's not that new anymore. They've been there for a while. But the brand new stadium is pretty nice for UNLV, although they typically have to close off the top deck due to not being able to fill it. But UNLV has some big plans for a new stadium, and recently a rendering was put down for potentially a new stadium that would have a 100-yard scoreboard on the field, which would be something unlike anything we've ever seen before. So it remains to be seen what UNLV football will do, but for now, they're taking and following suit like a lot of other college football teams that are homeless and just playing at the local NFL team stadium. So that does it for the eight homeless college football teams for 2024, some building new stadiums, others with no plans in the future for a stadium. Let me know down in the comments what your strategy would be if your team was in one of these situations. Would you strike a deal with an NFL team and go to their stadium knowing you couldn't fill it up most of the time? Or would you have the main goal be building a new stadium to play every Saturday? Either way, let me know. I appreciate you guys watching. And as usual, if you enjoyed, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will see you guys later.